now it's time to talk about forgiveness. Let's face it, we all do things wrong from time to time because none of us is perfect. Ask yourself, when was the last time I apologised for something I did wrong in my relationship? If the answer is, it's been a while, then you might need to examine yourself for blind spots. Try not to justify your actions, even if you did have the best of intentions. If it hurt your partner, then it hurt your partner. Focus on the fact that your partner is hurting rather than on the fact that you didn't mean to hurt him or her. The first step in seeking forgiveness from your partner is to admit that what you did was wrong or hurtful. And be specific about what you did wrong. First you name it and then you own it. So for example, it was wrong of me to say you're not very smart. Then acknowledge the pain you caused your partner without making excuses and say sorry. It was a hurtful thing to say, I'm really sorry. Then reassure your partner you understand what hurt them and that you will endeavour not to do it again. It's not okay to put you down and I'll try not to do that again. If your partner has done the wrong thing by you, it's really important to acknowledge your hurt and anger and express it in a healthy way. If you push your feelings down, they won't go away. They'll just emerge again in probably more unhealthy ways that undermine the relationship anyway. So it's best to deal with them while they're raw, in a healthy way that grows the relationship. For example, when I'm told I'm not smart, I feel inadequate and rejected. I would really like it if you would say things that show you believe in me. Remember, just because your partner has done wrong by you, that doesn't give you permission to hurt them back. Instead of doing that, lead by example, by communicating your boundaries to your partner and how you would like the situation to be handled next time. Remember that idea of pointing towards the desired behaviour? Make a choice not to entertain thoughts that want to blame and be negative towards your partner. When these thoughts come, because they will, express them in a healthy way, through writing or talking. Some couples I work with have an exercise book where they write their thoughts down and then reply to each other in writing. It's much less confronting and gives you time to think about what you want to say and to articulate it properly. After you have expressed your feelings and you're ready to forgive your partner, let him or her know, remembering that forgiveness is a process and will happen over time. It doesn't mean you won't feel angry again. It just means that your intention is to move past what's happened by not holding a grudge against your partner and then work on re-establishing a close relationship. Just a couple more things to remember about forgiveness. It's not about justifying bad behaviour or ignoring hurt feelings. It's about acknowledging what happened, assigning appropriate responsibility, expressing hurt in a healthy way, and then re-establishing healthy boundaries in the relationship. Forgiveness is a process, therefore you need to give your partner time to process what happened, not in your time, in their time. In some cases, it isn't possible to re-establish a close relationship. So for example, if someone is being abusive towards you and their behaviour has not changed, you might forgive them, meaning that you choose not to harbour feelings of bitterness and resentment that would only hurt you anyway. But you might also choose not to stay in a close relationship with that person. So keep your distance, keep yourself safe, or in some cases to be safe, you may not be able to have a relationship at all.